Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Tesla on Mer. My name is Leon and today's video is about the Gate Drive Transformer or GDT. A lot of guys ask me in the comments how to wire or how to build a Gate Drive Transformer. And that is a good question because I remember when I start building Tesla calls, the GDT always caused me big problems. So before we make a nice GDT in this video, let me tell you a bit about the basics. Gate drive transformers are commonly used in switching power supplies, amplifiers, transmitters and other electronic devices. Basically they are used wherever there needs to be a galvanic isolation between the control and the power section. Though they are a simple but very elegant solution to protect a controller. If we now want to build a Tesla coil, the gate drive transformer is absolutely essential. At the power amplifier, the half bridge for example, very high voltages are present, from which our sensitive driver must be protected. Of course, we also protect ourselves with it. Gate drive transformers can be bought, but in my opinion it's much better to make them by yourself, because you can still adjust it if there are any problems. If you build a salt state Tesla coil for the first time, many people use any ferrite coil they have lying around. But this is a big mistake. Ferrite cores consist out of different materials, for example manganese zinc and nickel zinc powder. Depending on the used material, the cores are designed for different frequencies. So it's very important to know on which frequency the planned SSTC or DR SSTC should work. But also the size of the core is important. The smaller the core, the faster will it saturate. So choose a properly sized core. If we do not pay attention to these properties, the gate signal looks like a mess. And this leads to dead semiconductors. Here is a list of different ferrite materials. I always use N87, but from 700 kHz you should use for example N59. If we now have chosen the right core, we can start with winding. First we have to know how many different windings we need. For a single MOSFET, two windings. For a half bridge, three windings. And for a full bridge, five different windings. Today we decide us for a half bridge. Now we need copper wires. Best is insulated and in three different colors. We want to make 8 turns on the primary side and 12 on the secondary side. This results a ratio of 1 to 1.5 to 1.5. But why this ratio? Assuming the signal on the primary side has an amplitude of 12 volts, it's over 18 volts on the secondary side. The higher voltage has the advantage that we can smooth the gate signal well with diodes later. But of course a ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 also has an advantage. Thereby the transferring current is higher and the rise and fall times of the signal are faster. But then you should consider to increase the driver voltage up to 15 volts. It is important that you do not make too many turns on the GDT, otherwise the gate signal will suffer, but also not too less. To avoid wasting too much cable we loosely put a loop around the core and then measure the length. In my case it's about 5 cm. Then we multiply that by the number of turns, add another 10 cm and then cut a cable in this length. The cable for the primary coil is 50 cm long, the one for the secondary coil is 70 cm long. First we start with the primary coil. Make sure that you tighten the windings. After finishing the coil we twist the two ends together. Now come the secondary windings. But first we have to twist these two wires together. We can do this for example with a battery powered screwdriver. You can also do it by hand. Clamp both wires and hold the other two ends tightly. And go! Oh yes, that looks great. Now we proceed as before and wrap the twisted cable 12 times around the core. Always tighten. When the windings are done, we can now untwist the twisted cable at the open ends. It is best to mark the two ends of one side, this will make it easier for you to connect it to the half bridge. Now we twist the cables of the same color. Tie all cables together and done. Yes guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully it will help some of you. So guys, see you in the next video.